Hey everyone, G loves trains here. Today I'm off for a day out in the lesbian capital of the UK. Wait, what? We're, we're, we're going to Brighton? No, 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 no. Hebden Bridge. Hebden Bloody Bridge? Get in the. This market town in West Yorkshire, England is full of countryside, wooded valleys and flowing water. And yes, it really has been branded the lesbian capital of the UK. Today I shall discover what it is that makes Hebden Bridge so recommendable. Just at the Wigan Wallgate now, a very snowy Wigan Wallgate as well and uh, waiting for a pretty 158 to come and pick me up and you know what I have been craving a longish pretty 158 ride as well over an hour on this one that'll do me lovely jubbly on 158757 oh yes this is what I was after they do have lovely carpets on these You don't want a sledge? Walk well, down. Here at Hebden Bridge Station, I've never actually been here before, the station or the place, and immediately stepping off the train I was like, the eye candy in this station with regards to the old signs and um, oh look, a signal box there, yeah. Yeah, this is a this is a lovely looking station this. I thought whilst I'm exploring, I may as well put my number one talent to the test. Lesbian spotting. Honestly, my lesbian dar is on point and it is very, very slippy around. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sandwiched between the River Calder and the Rochdale Canal, Big Kid Me slipped down to Calder Homes Park. It's not the greatest park I've ever been to. It's just basically a little field, but it's more about what you see when you avert your eyes upwards. experience why not try the picture house this quirky cinema opened in 1921 has a grade 2 listed status and is owned by the council it sure is something you don't see every day making my way through the town center it might be quite small and quaint but it is absolutely bursting with character there's loads of independently run shops which unfortunately for me means there's no little Sainsbury's but Hebden Bridge, I'll forgive you because it is so refreshing to see somewhere where there's not your usual chain stores. After passing the town hall, it was time to clamber up to our next destination. Oh my days, <laughs> this is quite a clamber, just one more set of steps to go. Do not look down, do not look behind you, do not look down, do not look behind you. When you think it couldn't get any worse, at least it's snowing and the views are spectacular. And oh my days, look what's over there. Uh, it's a snowy mountain. Do you ever get a feeling you should be down on this path rather than on a road with no pavements? <laughs> Maybe I should have followed those walkers. I said walkers because they're actually dressed for the occasion and look like they know where they're going. This 
is Hardcastle Crags, one of Hebden Bridge's most notable tourist attractions, run by the National Trust. It's walker's paradise and probably one for the photographers too. You'll find an array of footpaths, waterfalls and wildlife. And there's even a mill, Gibson Mill, fueled by renewable energy. Heading back down to the Rochdale Canal, I thought I'd finish up the day with a short calming canal walk. Alright, so instead of going back exactly the way I came, I just saw this. So, ooh, it's going down a load of steps right now to take that different path. It's way more muddy, but at least we've got a different view, eh? Oh, I'm getting aqueduct vibes though with the river passing under the canal and uh, my TARDIS blue shoes, well, they ain't TARDIS blue anymore from all the canal walks I've been doing lately but this canal actually has a lovely path, there's no mud. <laughs> I've just realised something, doesn't this water look frozen? One minute. I'm gonna have to do this now. The canal literally looks frozen. It freaking is! Oh my actual the, the, the canal is actually frozen over. <gasps> I have never seen that before. <laughs> My aim was to reach the Stubbing Wharf area, which I did just as darkness began to fall. If you're looking to increase your steps, Hebden Bridge is defo the place to come. Upon the woodland walking, it's creative, it's welcoming, it's LGBT plus friendly and it's hella busy. My skidoot around the town was made even more special by the pristine falling snow. And you know what? I've no idea which one is Hebden, but there's a whack load of bridges and all. Back at the station now, me and my freaking frizzy her. Can't believe it's gone so dark already. But I was wondering why people kept suggesting to me to come to Hebden Bridge. And yeah, now I see it is a charming place, isn't it? And the thing you're eager to find out, how many on the scalers did I count? It came to 13. But then again, I was, you know, highly distracted by the snowy scenic views and I decided not to count older people because I'm not that great at telling with older above sort of 36 years old yeah mainly because I fancy people my own age I guess <laughs> but yeah that's my psychic ability right there all it takes is just just a minuscule glimpse into their eyes and I know <laughs> right love how this has just turned into a lesbian chat but then again I ain't gonna be having any of those anytime soon considering they've all blocked me <laughs> right thank you very much for watching everyone spitting all over the place uh, from me and from Hedden Bridge Squishy 